Hey everybody, it's Keith with the L1 Automotive Training Channel, and today we got actually a another video very similar to one we did before. Um, so we have a 2000, like three or six or nine or something Honda Accord ish thing. Um, it's a, I probably should look, that's funny. This is a funny one because I didn't actually do the repair on this, Josh did. Um, five of 09. So this is an 09, and I think it's an Accord. I don't know. It's two door. We're going to figure out here in a minute. So this car was broken into and let me see if I've got what's going on here. Let me see where Josh left the pieces. Not sure exactly. Probably over here in the box. Hey everybody, check out l1training.com backslash events. We just posted a bunch of hands-on two-day training courses right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We always cap them at like 20 people max, usually around 15. That way you get the opportunity to learn what you need to learn and it's a two-day hands-on course so they're always fantastic. Uh, check it out, you get access to like a free, uh, you get access to an exclusive uh, messenger group of people that have been in that class, which that alone and the, and the networking alone is completely worth the class. But hey, come out, hang out with us. Uh, we'll feed you real well, and hopefully you'll learn something that can uh, really accelerate your career. All right, guys, we'll see you then. Some of them are here. So Josh has got, looks like a trunk lock and a door lock and a glove box lock. Oh, you know what? That's probably the one for the uh, little gas door thingy. Let's walk over here. Let's find the ignition lock cylinder. So you can see what happened. This is a theft recovery, which is kind of fun. Gotta walk all the fun ways around the shop. Lots of stuff packed in here. Ah, here we go. So we got a theft recovery here. Uh, Josh got it in. You can see the front locks, the locks are still all janked. So the problem was, they took it to another shop. Another shop got the the lock cylinder or something replaced with a used one or something. But for whatever reason, they said that um, they're like, they can't get the remotes to learn. Well, we get it in and we'll go over here and I'll show you what was going. You know what? I'll probably just bring that part with me. I should probably just bring the part with me. So um, on this ignition housing, there is an immobilizer module right there. And then below that, with that mobilizer module, I'm trying to get to where it faces you, that black connector that's right over the top of my eye, that's for the immobilizer. The green connector is for the key and ignition switch. And when we got the car, we went to go, they called us to program the remotes. It didn't work out in the field. So we said, send it to us. We need to inspect this lock cylinder. So when we got to the car and we would open the door, that's what we would hear, a constant beeping. Whether the key was out or even when the key was in. And as you can see, anytime it thinks the key's in the ignition, that beeping happens. Well, the remote learn procedure for this requires a key in ignition and a key out ignition cycle at some point, and it needs to recognize that it's the keys in the cylinder and out of the cylinder. So Zach was looking at it and he opened the door and it started beeping and I caught him and I said, hey, before you go any farther, key and ignition switch is bad or broken or something, you need to figure that out. So we had the story on the car, figure that out. So we ordered an entire identity kit, a key kit. Honda still offers it for these cars. Um, it comes as two remote head keys and one valet key, an ignition lock cylinder assembly with a mobilizer module with key and switch with ignition switch. Um, and then door locks and, and I think glove box and everything else. So uh, Josh got all that done today and then he's like, hey, I gotta go because it's four on a Friday. So that's what time they leave. Um, matter of fact, this is the last Friday we're working for quite a while. Maybe the last Friday we work forever. We're going to a four day work week and seeing how that works. We're gonna give it a shot. See what the, see if the guys like three day weekends. I know they'll love it, but if we can see if, see if the shop can make it really. So. Uh, we've got, you know, new OEM Honda keys. So I made a video not too terribly long ago um, doing a, a used engine control module on this era of Honda um, using the Nitro LT. And I kind of bitched and moaned in the video a little bit about the Nitro LT being wired. Um, so Isaac at Auto Rescue Tools, check out the description down there, said, hey, 
Uh, for less than $2,000, they have a wireless version of that tool that also has lifetime updates. So this is from the same, this is from Xtools, from the same makers like Auto Pro Pad. Very, very similar software. So I have the Xtool Nitro GT here, which is just a wireless version, much larger, a larger platform. So it's got a bigger battery, bigger screen. Uh, the interface supposedly at one point in time was going to have JBox. Um, application software, but I think that's kind of shelved for now. So we're going to go special functions. I've got some updates to do, but I'm not going to do them right now. Click immobilizer. Yes, I agree. And we're going to go to the Hondu. We're going to do an all keys lost. What's funny is while I'm doing this, you guys are going to be like, it's right there. Can't you see it? And I cannot see it. And I'm sure it's right in front of me. All right, so so for those of us that aren't paying very good attention, Honda USA. So it's connecting with the interface, which does have DYP capabilities, by the way. And then we could do it by vehicle because we're automotive technicians. If you're a locksmith, you like going by type because you would know that this is like a type three immobilizer um, but we're going to, most of my audience, you guys are all automotive techs, so we're going to go by vehicle, by cord, it's got a blade key, auto identify, probably helps if I turn the ignition on. It is not a 22 or later, press OK. Oh, it's a 4th gen, my bad. Not a type 3. So we did replace the immobilizer ECU. And so we're gonna go there. I want to register three keys. I have two uh, remote head keys and one valet key. Turn the ignition switch off. Okay. Turn on the ignition switch. Okay. So I could have selected key had we moved the, the immobilizer module over, but since we got a new one, we put the new one in. So we're gonna go through the replace immobilizer ECU first. Okay, turn off the ignition switch. We're gonna need to read carefully because we're gonna need to do this with specific keys. Turn on the ignition switch, okay. So put it into learn mode. It's probably gonna learn this key now. Input the vehicle VIN number. Okay, hold tight. Let me type this in real quick. <laughs> Okay, yes, that is the current VIN. Turn off the ignition. Okay. Turn on the ignition. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the ignition. Turn off the ignition switch. Okay, turn on with the next key. Oh, 20 seconds. I'm on the clock here. Turn off the ignition. Okay, turn it on with the next one. Okay. Okay. Turn on the ignition without changing the key. Okay. Turn it off, okay. Turn it on. Is the immobilizer indicator off? It is now off. It was right up here, blinking green. So we'll put yes. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the ignition, okay. Registration's been completed. Turn off the ignition switch. Okay. Check all keys. Okay, so we'll start with the valet key. Theft light went out. Starts and runs. That's the valet key. We'll put the first one in there. 
So that flight goes off, starts and runs. Perfect. Switch to the other key. And then, whoa. I'm watching the, <laughs> the phone so I can't tell. So for what the key light looks like, you should be able to see it split second. There it is, yeah. Start with the last key. Perfect. All the keys start the car, press OK. Turn it off. Okay, we're going to get out of immobilizer mode. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Device code into the smart key. Put registration complete because this is not a smart key. This is a bladed key. All right, so we got that. Oh yeah, these are OEM remotes. So they register automatically to the car. Perfect. All right, so cut, programmed, registered, and everything. Um, sweet. And all cordless, so I could have done this out there. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time.